Are you dull and boring? Do you want to impress your friends with something they can't do? I've been doing backflips on chair blades for years and can show you how to accomplish one safely. It's a good idea to practice practice backflip form before actually trying one. So when you're going to do a backflip as you're jumping, you want to throw your arms up to get as much lift as possible. And when you're when you're at that point, you also bring your knees up as hard as you can to your chest to kick out. But make sure when you're practicing not to kick too hard because because once you once you go over, there's no going back. Another way to practice is by practicing on the ground, so you eliminate the jumpy part and the nervousness that goes with. It. So when you start out like this, and you throw your arms over your head as hard as you can, but not hitting the ground, so you don't want to hurt your arms, and bringing your leg or your knees up to your chest at the same time, so you can go like this, and then. Eventually you do it hard enough so you flip all the way over. It'll give you the feel of what a backflip feels like. Spotters is always recommended when first trying flips because they can catch you if you fall or are about to hit your head. It's always a good idea to have people around you once you can flip on your own because if you do get hurt, something goes wrong, they can help you. Clothing worn while attempting flips shouldn't be baggy or loose. If your pants are longer than your legs, and you're probably gonna slip and fall, and that's not a good thing. Shorts or pants that properly fit you are most recommended, as they won't restrict your movement and allow you to safely accomplish the flip, as you won't be restricted by clothing that gets in the way or throws off your movements. Now that you're ready to do a backflip, comes another really important part, which is jump height. The higher you jump, the better at first because you have more time to flip over and land. I don't know where you want to. So start out by jumping just pretty much as high as you can. And then you flip. And as you, you get better, you can measure your skill by how many jumps it takes before you can go over. So, a couple. And eventually, you can work to the spot where you don't even have to jump at all before you back lift. So. Due to wind noise and me not having a wind mic on my camera, I decided to make the rest of my speech indoors. Now that we've seen how to do a backflip and the steps to doing a backflip, we have to talk about the hardest part, the mental aspect of trying a backflip. For me, I'll admit I was nervous about trying a backflip for the first time. I've been doing front flips since I was a kid, but I never tried a black backflip. You hear, kid, you hear people say that front flips are harder than backflips because they are. But the hardest part about backflip is you don't see where you're going. It causes can cause a lack of confidence. The greatest danger while flipping can be losing your confidence and stopping in the middle of your emotions. Like I said before, once you once you start, there's no going back. Well, um, most important thing to remember is your form and follow through with it. The lack of confidence can get you seriously injured. I consider backflips on a trampoline to be a stepping stone for trying them on the ground. A couple of years ago, I wanted to try backflips on the ground, so I had my dad spot me, help me try to do them. But having a spotter and, and doing them for, on your own for real is two different things. One day I decided to try, try it on my own, and I got to the point where I was laying on my hands and feet. But then I tried it again, and I lost confidence in the middle of my backflip and hit my head on the ground. Um, I hadn't tried them since then because I couldn't walk for a few moments, it was more like stumbling. So if you want to impress your friends with a backflip, make sure to remember to practice, have good form, always be thinking of that form, and most of all, have the confidence and the will to act when it comes to executing a backflip.